What's going on YouTube, Gen X? Um, so I was out last week um, at dinner with the old friend. Um, and we didn't get the chance to connect during college because, you know, we both had busy work schedules and we ran in different circles. So we really didn't have much overlap. Uh, and me, myself, I wasn't around too much on campus. Uh, my third and fourth year simply because my work schedule was pretty busy um so it was one of those missed opportunities you know we just didn't get it, it didn't work out right you know we just couldn't make it work out um and you know a big part of college is proximity right everybody's close and everybody tends to go to the same spots in the same little hangout areas um so we didn't have that but now um a couple of years removed from college we both find ourselves in the same geographic area um, you know we reconnected and we've been hanging out here and there um, and you know we were talking about uh, obviously dating options um, you know the women will bring it up um, and you know she talked about how we as the men we have more options and you know obviously that's not debatable, right? It's true. Men do have more options. Um, but what women don't understand is that men have more options um, in part because we don't do the whole plutonic relationship, right? The only time a man really forms a plutonic relationship with the woman um, is if, honestly, he's not the least bit um, attracted to her like you know there is no hint of physical attraction to her right but they're cool you know um, they may talk they may get along right but it's definitely plutonic purely friendship he doesn't even think about her in that way um, or if a woman is um, involved in a relationship with somebody you know you know so somebody that you know and that person knows you right um, I'm not even talking about a woman in a relationship. I'm talking about if she is in a relationship and you know the boyfriend. You know, you don't even have to be necessarily friends, but if he, if, you know, if he knows you and you know him and there's no real bad blood there, obviously, you know, you don't want to be disrespectful. You know, there has to be some sort of honor amongst men, right? Um, so that's the only time we really do the whole plutonic thing and in the second case it's conditional right you know I've known dudes where um, you know we weren't buddies but we were cool so I wasn't really trying to you know holler at the chick or whatnot um, but when they broke off you know they broke off and they ended it and you know they were done right it wasn't like I can talk to her right it was one of those okay well you're no longer with him so it's okay for me to talk to you in that way so even that form of plutonic relationship is definitely more so conditional. Um, so this is what we do. Um, so if you're an attractive girl, right, and you have male friends, yeah, those men not, may not be trying to get at you, so they're not trying to, you know, push up on you or, you know, when are you going to give me a shot? But if push came to shove, they would not object to any sort of physical relationship, any sort of physical contact right there would be no uh hesitation on their end you know it is what it is right i have chicks um, that i'm friends with and i'm not really trying to get at right but best believe if you know things got awkward and it was like whoa is something going on here i'm not gonna hold back because of the whole oh but we're friends and we've known each other for the past five years or we've, you know we've known each other since elementary school man we don't do all that right you know it is what it is um, that's more so a female issue, hence the whole limited dating opportunities. Um, and this is why dudes are like, no, we don't like the whole, I'm a woman, but I have a lot of male friends because yeah, you guys might be friends, but push comes to the shove, he's not going to stop anything from happening. And it's not about trust, but it's more so about knowing how men operate, right? I'm not going to allow... Uh, you know, the woman that I'm with to be kicking it with men who I know would take her down. Right? You know, it is what it is. It, it, it's just how we operate. Um, and like I said, it's just like a woman who doesn't want her boyfriend um, 
to hang out <clears throat> with other attractive single women, even if he's the most, you know, most faithful dude in the world, um, <clears throat> she's going to know how females operate. It's as simple as that. So she's not going to want it, and I can understand why. Just like for a lot of dudes who was on that, you know, I'm not cool with you hanging out with your male friends, I completely understand why, because in her eyes it may be plutonic, but in the, guy, in the eyes of the men, it's definitely not, right? Um, you know, I, I'm going to keep it real with you. That's why for me, like I said, I respect another man's relationship. I you know I truly do, because I know how it would feel if it was reversed. Right, you know, I'm the type of dude that, you know, we could be cool, we could be friends, but okay, you have a dude, I'm going to remove myself from the equation, not because I don't, I, you know, I don't like you anymore or whatnot, but, you know, you have to do you, <clears throat> right, there's no conversation that we're going to have that you really can't have with your boyfriend, that's my philosophy, right, so like I said, I can't blame the guy, right, who has issues with that, um, because like I said, as men, we don't do the whole plutonic relationship. Um, so literally, we kind of have a 360 approach in terms of options and what's available. Whereas opposed to women, you guys only look at what's brand new, what you've never experienced before, which will hurt you, right? You know, which will always hurt you because you're limiting what has been there before because of the whole we know each other and we're friends. So, you know, that's just a little bit of food for thought. Um, because like I said before, what black people don't do, especially black women, um, for whatever reason, they don't take value in forming relationships with men that they know, okay, that they can say, hey, I've had a history of you. You know, we may not have been dating, but, you know, we kind of came up together. Whereas in other communities, that's embraced. They're not, they don't want to be around people who they don't know. They like the whole idea of, oh, I knew, you know, I've known this person for five years. I've known this person for ten years. They like that whole uh, closed so circuit sort of social group where everybody knows everybody and if you bring in somebody new, they know people. So there's that level of security, right, um, which, you know, is pretty cool in my opinion, right, because I've seen how it works, but like I said, in the black community, especially amongst younger black men and women, you know, that young professional sort of age range, it's something that we don't do at all, and like I said, it's not because of the men, you know, we're not um, on that whole, well, I know Keisha, right, you know, me and Keisha were friends for the last three years, okay, what's that mean in regards to Keisha, you know, having a nice body, or Keisha having a cool person personality, you know, what does that really mean, nothing. <clears throat> but like I said for the women it goes to the soul but I already know him and it's not new it's not my fantasy and it really hurts so um, you know it hurts your what's available to you right um, so anyways that's my vid y'all take it easy God bless